Okay, I wanted to show you on this page that I did the last time when I did my video of art and craft how I did these little flowers on paper towel that I glued here. I wanted to show you that and also while I'm here just to tell you that these ones, the, the small polka dots that you can see here, it's actually that. I used that like a stencil, simply. I bought that at 99 cents. I, I bought the three like that for 99 cents. So, for example, on this page, I continued playing with my flowers. So those are on paper towels. Those are printed as I'm going to show you. And those are flowers that I drew on paper and that I glued here and actually it's really badly glued. I must glue them again because I didn't want to use some Mod Podge. I just used a stick it doesn't glue really well. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I did that. So I started here as you can see. Okay, I'm going to show you. So for example, I do a flower like that. I, I drew on the paper towel. Yes, you see what I'm doing. Okay, for example, I drew a flower like that. So I like to use the yellow because it's really very liquid and my like uh, pinkish uh, purple also is very liquid. So it's the two colors which work the best. For example, I'm doing that. You see, it's a, it's a kit paint um, with a sponge and it's very easy to draw with that. But you can also use some ink or add some water to your acrylic. You don't need to have that. And then I fold the paper towel and with my brayer, I press strongly. So what happens is that I have a transfer of flower here and I have a transfer of flower here. So with one flower, I have three. It worked well because these two colors are especially very liquid. I will try with other colors. You will see that it's not always so obvious. Okay, for example, I'm going to do... Yes, my camera is working. I'm checking because I already started my video and my camera stopped for I don't know what reason. So I don't want to start again. Yeah, obviously that is maybe not liquid enough. We will see, we will see. I'm going to saturate with colors to be sure to make it work. You have to press with your fingers to make the color go out. So it can be a little tiring after a while. Okay, I fold that. I take my brayer. I press as much as I can. And you see that it doesn't transfer as well as the other color. So I have a pale flower here. And I have a very pale flower here. So this one, I'm going to, to finish it like that. You get the idea. More your color is liquid, more it will work. So it avoids you to make a lot of flowers because then you can use that. You have to cut it and you glue it wherever you want. This will deserve a little more color here. way of drawing and stamping in the same time. Okay, I will do a last one with the, the orange to see how it works. It didn't work actually really well before the orange. Or maybe I have other colors. Let's try the red because the orange didn't work really well. I will try the red. Okay. I take my yellow because I'm sure it's working. 
Let's see. If the red is bad, I will take the orange. Oh no, the red is really actually liquid. Oh, very intense. And then I fold the brayer. Oh yes, that is going to transfer. Wow. This one is really good. And this one is not bad. Maybe I will add a little more like that. You see, you get the idea. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else that I didn't invent. The flowers, it's me. But what I'm going to show you now, it's not me. It's... Uh, something that I saw on the video with Tracy Bautista. I will give you the link where you can find that, if I find the link. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to fold it like that. And I am going to... So I have this thing that I bought a long time ago. It's uh, Aquaflow Professional Airbrush Color. It's yellow. It's for t-shirt and illustration. I don't know if it still exists. I bought that at Michael's a while ago. But anyway, any liquid acrylic will be fine. You don't need to have specifically this one. So basically, I'm spreading some color like that. You take your acrylic mixed with water and simply put your paper towel in your mix I have some everywhere <laughs> I'm not sure it was a good idea to put some nail polish just before doing that okay and then I'm going to do like that so this is Tattered Angel Glimmer Mist And I'm pressing so the color transfer a little everywhere. So you have some yellow, you have some red, and there is also some orange because the both mixed together. I'm testing in front of you actually. I never did it before, so I'm discovering in the same time as you do. Nice tie and dye. And here I'm going to, for example, put um, a stencil that I made myself here too. Uh, I will put, no, I need to change a little. I will put this one here oh. and maybe uh, this one here. That is some brass metal so we will see what works the best you can also take a piece of paper to put above and then with your brayer you press like that the areas where it was white it's not going to show much but the areas where there was some color that should make something and maybe if i put that here we will see if it works as well and then maybe here too I'm not well organized. So let's see the result. Well, not really good. Not really good, not really good. Maybe I didn't have enough color and it was not wet enough. So, okay, I'm going to try on another page. So this you can keep it for journaling okay i'm going to try with 
uh, more wet paint because obviously my paints were not wet enough you know I'm very uh, stubborn and obstinate and I never give up okay so what I did I took some color like that tulip cool color spray neon pink that I mixed with some water I'm putting a mess right now <laughs> I'm going to take a paper towel I'm going to fold it like that maybe maybe it's too big maybe it's too big because if the surface is too big maybe it dries faster I don't know we will see okay I took something smaller and then I'm putting it here so as you can see it's completely saturated with color yeah that's what she was doing probably my colors were not wet enough I suppose and then I'm just going to spray a little of this my fingers are like that and I'm going to press to spread a little the color and then so I am spreading it I don't remember if she puts the stencils first and let's start with the stencils first okay just to see my thing is not big enough never mind okay and then i will take uh, another piece like that now we have this one which is quite interesting because it transfer on the paper here and i can use that once it's dry this is the kind of ink pad and here what did it do nothing so okay i know okay i know i know i know i got it it's still very wet so i'm going to try again this time instead of putting a paper towel i will do that yes okay i got it actually it's uh, the thing that you put above which becomes printed not really what is underneath and as i was saying it must be much more wet okay i'm going to do something else here and to see if it's still wet enough to have an action Come on. yes you see And you have a wonderful background here just with stencils, a paper towel and inks or color where you added some water or you, or you can use some ink but look at that that is beautiful too it's printed also look here it's even more visible on that side and I'm going to use that in my craft okay this one I'm going to let it dry as I don't want to use always the same color, I'm maybe going to add what I'm going to add in it. Maybe I will add the red, unless I add some yellow. I'm going to add the yellow to see. It's going to do some orange, obviously. Yes, a little orange, but very uh, neon orange. try that it was a bag with lemons I want to see if it has an effect okay now I will take another paper towel that I'm going to fold and put in the color very messy I'm not going to lie to you it's messy 
I have my fingers full of color and just maybe I'm going to add a little bit of that so it's not going to be uniform like that the orange is absolutely incredible okay let's spread it like this I'm going to fold that I'm going to put a piece of paper here because when I'm going to use the brayer I don't want to mess with what I have here so act like stencils and stamps in the same time I'm going to insist here because there is the material I'm not sure it's going to work wow uh, that was very uh, I put too much paint but it worked uh, wait a second I'm going to move everything that was a kind of a little too much. Okay, like that it's okay. But you see how it, uh, it prints. And I took a very light color. If the color was darker, it would be, of course, more visible. Okay, I want to try to do it here. So it means that I must put the things here so that was okay maybe i will put the same and you saw i put one on the other and it worked here i have two layered i have that and i have the green thing i don't have a lot of space on my table so it's a little difficult to work like that but like this and this one i will try to do the same i should put this on the top like that and the brayer is going to go here yes it printed but by a very messy way. Obviously the yellow color put a little the mess. I must change of color. So you see as the yellow doesn't work as well as the pink, obviously. Yellow, orange. Okay, I'm going to change of color because I want to try something better. To add some uh, sparkle glitter things like that this is going to be a little darker that's not bad I make it a little less liquid so hopefully it will work a little better I will take this paper towel it is a little less wet than before I will see I will see what is the right amount of water to do that maybe I put too much water it's messy that is the least I can say <laughs> it is really messy <laughs> okay we will try like that it's a very nice tie and dye thing <laughs> as you can see I have a lot of fun all by myself okay let's put my little stencils That is a nice one. Let's see if it didn't dry too fast. I'm afraid it dried too fast. It's so hot today again. Wow, wow, just wow. Wow, I love it. Oops, I put everything on the floor. I love it. So you see it prints on the side where the paper towel is. That is fantastic. And now I'm going to remove the stencils. 
I'm going to put it here. I'm going to try. I I'm still curious with that. I like to make the things work. Let's see what happened. I love this one. That's interesting. The the net is not really very visible. We can see that. And that is almost dry, so it doesn't transfer much, but it's still interesting. I have two pages here which are very interesting to work on. So I'm, I'm very happy with what I did, actually. Look at that. Isn't it fantastic? One second, I'm going to show you the first. You see? Not bad. And this, we can a little see the net, but not really, not really. And what is that? That's interesting. What is that? I don't get it. Anyway, once again, I'm going to wash my hands because look at that. <laughs> so my conclusions are that the paint must not be too liquid. It must be between liquid and not liquid. You must find the right mix. You must try, try. Yellow doesn't show really well. Orange doesn't show really well. But as soon as you come to dark colors like that, it's much more visible. I didn't have some glitter here, but you can include some glitter in your mix. So it will make some glitter on your page. Yes, it really prints more on the side where the paper towel is than on the other side. So you must know that. You know when I said that I never did that before, I lied. I just remember that I did that. Maybe I still have it. Wait a second. Yeah, you see, this is uh, something that I did. I cut, I used some pieces, but I already tried on uh, this thing. So it's good to try on thick paper enough. And you see, I put some, uh, it was not glitter, it was kind of a pearly paint. I tried also with a pearly paint, uh, with some gold. And I, I layered some stencil one above the others. And you see it's completely messy, but I was trying. One second, I see if I didn't do another one. No, that is not that. Yeah, this one, that is a test also, I tried, but you see, the yellow doesn't show as well. This one, same thing, I tested that years ago, years ago, and I completely forgot. The background also, plus stamps on the top. This one is nice. And I probably added some paint above and then more stencils, etc. I layered a lot. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I already tested it, but I didn't really use it. Now I'm going to show you something else. The other thing that I wanted to show you is the paper towels themselves that you can use also. Look at this one. That is fantastic. And what uh, Tracy Bautista says is that when you let them dry, you, uh, you must stack them together because then one paint goes to the other one. There is a transfer. It adds even more colors to your paper towel. So I'm going to let them dry like that. And these things, you can use them in your craft. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumb up and I will do more like that. If you have any question or if you want to see something specific, please let me know. And if I know how to do it, I will show you. If you want to know more, please subscribe and press the bell just beside subscribe so you will know every time I am posting a new video about art and craft. I'm sorry that I don't do only art and craft videos, but I do some very often. So what you don't like, you can pass and wait for the next one, which interests you. Okay, I see you very soon. Bye bye.